We're getting ready to go to the lake. Did you surprise me? I did. Wait, what lake was it in? Military Lake. Okay. Yes. So we're going to go on a hike and then swim? Yep. So what's the plan today? We're going to get all of our stuff packed. Yep. And then we're going to go to Melton Lake. And we're going to go on a hike. And then we're going to get changed up in the car. And then we can go to the lake and have a good swim. That's it. I'll show you what we packed for our picnic when we get there. And then all right. All right. What's the name of it? Um. Pin cushion. Pin cushion, not pistachio. <laughs> pin cushion. <laughs> yeah, and the lake's there and over here. Our car's over there where it says don't park. <laughs> but other people were doing Oh, there's a dog. Where? Over there. I don't know where the person is, though. Let's go see if there's a person for you. I found the, I found the toilet. Oh, there's a toilet. Yes. We don't know where this dog belongs to, but he came to us and he is wet. So I think he was playing in the water. He's very friendly. His name is Scout. Where, where's your person? Let's go on the lake. Come on, Scout. Back. <laughs> he is living his best life. Uh, well, well, where's your person? Yeah, like, dude. He has a caller and a name and number, but we have no cell service. But we wrote down the number for when we do. I'm going to assume this is his norm. He seems comfortable. Yeah. He didn't seem lost. Oh, puppy. But I expect him to find somebody down here, I guess. But there are cars up there. Yeah. I just, then you have that thought of like, did something happen to the owner and like the dog's coming for help? You know, you see that stuff on videos, guys. <laughs> yeah, normally they're barking lassie style, Yeah, though. like come help. We'll yeah. see. Is yeah. that a trail too or something? Yeah, that's where our trail technically starts. Oh. Here, back there. So this trail, I guess, is only like a mile? Uh, it's... Yeah, a mile and a half up and a mile and a half back. We wanted to pick something that hopefully the kiddo can do. We'll see. It's already hot, though. All right, I'll be a minute. Oh, I bet you will. That doggies is, like, waiting for us. Huh. Come on, Sal. I think we got ourselves a dog for the day. <laughs> this is the backside, so... The, the trail with the bridge, the one I haven't taken you to, uh -huh. that is the gorge recreation area. So they connect. This is the far connection point. Oh. So yeah, we're doing that top one. So it's not super, um, you know, intense. Yeah. Hopefully That's we'll see. Crazy. But it is hot. So, I mean, yeah, this is enough. Here. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I just, I just. Look at that dog. You want me to tighten it up? You want me to tighten it? Yeah. <laughs> No water? He doesn't want it. No water? Oh. Now should I have water, please? 0.6 miles in 18 minutes, 0 seconds. You're doing good, bud. Average pace, tired? 27 minutes, 21 seconds per mile. I want to go to swim. Okay, we're going to finish this and then we'll go. You're doing good. I'm not going to lie. For a short trail, it's a, it's it's got some incline. I think this is his norm. We saw two people and we asked if it was theirs and they said that no, it's, it came out of a fenced area, like a house. They saw it this morning and he's just been like chilling with people ever since. So this must be his norm. <laughs> you need a hat? Look, <laughs> hard work, huh? It's not easy. It's not easy to go up still. No. No, it's not. Try 13 miles of it. it will fall when I go down. Yeah. Alright, handle. Can that go on to me? How you doing, Blue?
I know. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy to go uphill. It is certainly not. It, it might be a little easier to go down. It is, especially if you just roll. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> did you have a good hike? You did it. I did. What? Food! All right, so they sprung this on me last night, and I packed up what I could. So I made some PB&Js, as you do. Uh, some of these mixed nuts, an orange, some bananas, bunny grams, obviously. He's got a muffin. Yeah. Some strawberries in there. Pull those out. And then last night I made some sweet potatoes, and I've been loving them cold. Jolly Ranchers. Um orange some more water oh you got bg <laughs> some of these bobo muffin oat bite things are so good and i think that might be it we didn't really pack like true full meals but just snacks we're not gonna be here probably that long but then the kiddo can go and swim if you're into that kind of thing i don't really like lake water <laughs> yes all right what are you gonna have all of it yep all right <laughs> cool strawberries in my life. Yes, I don't know how good this is going to come out because it's kind of windy, so there's that. Kim found themselves pets no matter where we go. Oh my goodness. One. You can't have one. <laughs> did you have a good hike? I did have a good hike. Did yeah. you have a good hike? Let me show them these sweet potatoes. They were good, huh? Last night. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was good. I had some traumatic flashbacks of uh, you know, a race. We haven't been on a trail really, or I haven't. Where'd you put those forks? They're right here. Uh, since our race, so I felt it, but yeah, so I made these last night and I just like cooked them up in a pan, put garlic powder, a little bit of paprika and it, guys, oh, oh, if, uh, mm -hmm. if you like, uh, sweet potato, try that and then put them on salads. Now I'm just going to eat it like oh. this, but like cold. A nut. Oh, oh, you're getting close friend. I'm gonna get you a big one. Here you go. Oh, you're welcome. God, you're so cute. Bye. These what, are so what good. What were you saying? <sighs> They're so good. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And then, I forgot to put um, apple and cantaloupe too. Yeah. We're so helpful. Yes. Here, have some apples. We need all of them. Apple? Mm -hmm. I've cut them for you. There you go. Yeah. I'm done with my muffin. Okay. You're all done? Okay. Um, I didn't look that hungry anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can eat that apple. Okay. It's really good. Um, it's hot though. It's like 90 degrees already. And I feel like we could have gone more or he would have been, I was worried about him. Like he was getting red. Yeah. And he was working. Mm-hmm. So... Mm -hmm. you're, you're cooling down. You're all right. You're going to get in the water. You're still right off. You want another one? Mmm, sandwich. Flies, flies, flies. Mm hmm But that board we were showing you is like the start, <clears throat> the start of like all of those trails. There's some people. Um... So we can come back and try some different ones too. Yeah. Cool. I'm ready to go in now. Alright. Can be careful. <laughs> Got it. He's a water baby. It's good, yeah. 
Oh, you coming back, friend? They're getting real close now, guys. We're, we're having a kinship. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Ah, oh, you are adorable. There you go. Oh my gosh. Hello, honey. Oh, you want another one? Okay. Hi, you have the cutest little face. There you go. Shovel it in, just like me. Oh, you're so cute. You want more? You want more. Oh, okay. Watch my toes now. Here, here. There you go. Really? Whoa, dude. <laughs> you're a little pig. I'm into that. We're long lost cousins. That one actually looks like it got fatter. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Right here, I swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I want to stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. Hello. <laughs> so Nate just got home and I knew that he was coming home tonight at this time and he had told me that he was planning to make me dinner and that was very nice. So I did not know what he was going to make though and he just sprung it on me that he is going to make meatloaf. Now we just talked about this on our taste test yeah. well the thing is <laughs> we have the leftovers from that right yes, we do <laughs> and so i think that's where he got inspired yes 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 so uh yeah i don't know we have some of those sausages we have some of the like hamburger patties you know um so we're i'm excited i haven't had meatloaf <laughs> in a long in ages. ages so i think he's gonna go change and he's gonna get my charger because my phone's actually almost dead but that is two pieces right there of ezekiel bread and I, he's buttering both sides both sides all right so you also season both sides and then we're gonna cube it up okay air fry it okay and uh by the way guys that just totally reminds me i haven't even told you yet but i don't know the details yet i should be getting it sent to me soon you guys know i love kasori uh it's like my number one non-sponsored brand i've ever worked with but like is my favorite like i've probably worked with them now for a couple years huh just like of like promoting their products oh, and stuff yeah. love them but i just laugh because i've never like done a sponsored one from them but they're my number one but they just reached out there you're gonna laugh at this you guys they want to send us another air fryer but get the kicker with this it's wi-fi enabled yeah <laughs> shit yeah i was waiting i was how do you make an air fryer better wow wi -Fi. Wi -Fi. <laughs> hell yeah that's what i'm talking Isn't about that cool she just reached out last night and i i just asked her um i, I literally was like i'm definitely interested because it's just so over the top and i'm in but um <laughs> that's what i said but uh it's on amazon just like their you know other one in the corner there but uh by the way they have a white one now and it's super pretty but uh it looks like it's like not available for a month or two so i just emailed back asking like uh, is that the case? And just to get some more details first. But isn't that crazy? Did you explain to her that this isn't a normal thing? <laughs> that we... We... <laughs> aren't just regular consumers. Oh my gosh. Put I it heard, in the mail. I literally heard that and went, oh my god, that's totally Nate all over it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I will stay tuned with you guys on that, like of what's happening with that or not. But... I, it might be a little bit like on back order or something right now, but I'm not 100% sure But how crazy is that. That's going down. It's going down. But anyway, yeah, you're going to put that in the air fryer. That's going to be our breadcrumbs for the 
meatloaf, yes? Yes. And Nate pointed this out. Uh, what kind of wine is this? We haven't tried it before. This is um, Oak Ridge. And it is vegan. Like, all of their stuff is vegan, he said. It, it, the, they're, as a producer, they are vegan with everything that Total Wine carries. Gotcha. Okay. Um, it sh it's this, a cab, a red blend. Cool. And I think maybe something else I'm not thinking And this of. is just the Zin? Zinfandel? This is the Zinfandel, yeah. And I just made us a little cheese board, just as a little snack. My monthly time is on its way, guys, and I am just so, like, lethargic today, so this came at a good time to cook for me. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just spreading this out because we just got to put this on kind of low temperature and let it go for just a little while while I go take a shower. Got it. By the way, I'm going to show you those vegan proteins in the back there. I have an opinion now. At first, I wasn't too sure, and now I'm actually... I think it could be really liked by a lot of people. Anyway, I'll show you that in a little while. But I want ice cream, like protein ice cream. I think bottom line is at first I was kind of like these don't have much flavor, and but I actually think that they're like not on the sweet side, and people could really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So at first I was kind of like, well, no, these aren't as good, but I'm like that's not really true. Anyway, I'll show you in a little bit, but right. um, let me try this. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I look kind of crazy right now, so we're just gonna show Nate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, after the barbecue sauce. Ooh, over. that's yummy. The little over seasoned grilled onions in the middle. A bit more color. Mm, bam. Oh, perfect. All right, I need a charger. I'm at 5%. <laughs> I'm gonna finish eating those breadcrumbs and get you a charger. As you do, I'll take the crust. What you looking for? Brown sugar. It, there's a little bag of it in there, I think. A little Ziploc. It's probably like hidden. That's coconut sugar. I see you, uh, girl. Look at you. Yeah. Don't talk me. This you could put some hemp seeds in it too. That'd probably be good in the loaf. But whatever. This is already gonna have a ton of protein. All right. Sid actually uh, came up with the idea of using hemp seeds instead of breadcrumbs. Like if you wanted to like have it be lower carb, but and more protein. Not in this case, but I'm just saying. Let me tell you something about my <laughs> breadcrumbs. Let me, let me show you what my breadcrumbs look like. Let me see them. Let me see them. That's just bread toasted. Those look like some delicious croutons. Yes. Put your lips on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that is straight up a crouton from Carl's Jr. <laughs> That's what I taste. <laughs> All right, so Nate is doing those, just crunching them up. And real quick, what do we got here? We've got a Beyond Meat Patty. A Beyond Meat Patty? A uh, Light Life one. Light Life and a Light Life sausage. Sausage, the Italian one. Some mm -hmm. seasoned salt. Those two slices of BioLife provolone cheese. Mm -hmm. Pepper, onion, ketchup mustard, and brown sugar. So guys, this like brings me back. I used to make meatloaf back before going vegan. And the best, whether you're vegan or not, my friends, please make this sauce on some type of loaf. But what did I do? Oh gosh, it's like, oh my God, I don't even remember. It's literally. Ketchup, mustard. Ketchup, mustard, brown sugar. Brown sugar. And just please don't miss one ingredient. Just do it and go heavy with the sugar. Like just commit to it. It's gotta be brown sugar. And put that on top before you bake it or whatever. Oh my goodness. That is sinful. So Nate's gonna make this little mini meatloaf for two, and you're gonna do it in the air fryer too. Yeah. That's awesome, I'm into it. I mean, I think it'd be a little bit better. If it was Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, <laughs> girl. One day. Mmm. <laughs> that wine is good. Yes it is. Very good. It's gonna be very zingy. Zingy. So you're just gonna mush up all this together, probably? Yep. 
kind of see if I can't squeeze that out. It, Is it there actually, like a casing on that one? It's like super thin. Okay. So you can't quite squish it out like you would a traditional sausage. So I think I'm just. Oh, that looks so gross. <laughs> I think I'm just hunking. <laughs> hunking. That's the Beyond one. Now, apparently, because we just tried these and we actually haven't had them in a while. And, and the Light Life one. But apparently, Beyond Meat did like reformulate their patty that we just had. And a lot of people aren't liking it as much, but to me, it tasted the same. It did look a little slightly different maybe, but yeah. it did, it, it didn't taste different to me. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. All right, well, that's working. I thought it was fine. Okay. I just want all the textures to be. Yeah. I still gotta do the onions. Yeah, no, oh, and another thing, if you make loaf, like again, vegan or not, you have to do your onions cook. Don't put them in raw, like saute them first, get them all soft and like sweet. It makes such a difference in the world. I used to do that too. All right, so we're gonna let that come up to temp. That's gross. That's gross. All right, so you're dicing up that cheese real small. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna put it in the loaf. Um, yes, I'm gonna put it in the loaf and then I'm gonna keep just a little bit on the side to sprinkle. On top. After we glaze the top of it. Say it again. Glaze the top of it. Here, come show me those onions real quick so I don't have to move. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. And what are you going to season them with? I am going to season them with a little bit of garlic salt. Yeah. And some coconut aminos. Coconut aminos. I used to use Worcestershire sauce. Again, not vegan most of the time anyway. There are some out there, but they're hard to find. Um, but this is a good substitute. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Now, here's my tall tale for how to make me love well. Over season the, the onions. Yes, I agree. You have to over season the onions. Yeah, because you're trying to make that kind of almost flavor the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you wouldn't want to eat that straight out of the pan right there. It'd be like way too much. But mm -hmm. once you eat it in something, it's good. Yeah. Some water. Yeah, you crank the heat up. You're almost creating like a sauce. You're a sauce. And then you bring it on down. All right. Now you gotta be careful not to burn yourself <laughs> in this process. Like that, you gotta let it sit. Cause if you just reach in with your hands and start mushing. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna burn your damn stuff. Okay, do you wanna make the sauce just so they can see it? Oh, yeah. The ratio. We don't measure, but you know, you get it. So Push. you're gonna catch up. Okay. I'd say you're gonna do the most ketchup. Again, we're just making like mini loaves, so. I like mustard, but maybe go a little lighter if you don't love it, but you gotta do it, guys. It's so good together. And then like equal part sugar. <laughs> it's so good. A good handful. Like if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Let me see. Yeah, now, now whisk, whisk, whisk. And it will come together. It'll be this yucky brown color. That is fabulous. Like, it's so good. Oh, it's been a while. And at first it almost looks like it's not going to. It will. <laughs> but of course you can add a little more like ketchup if needed or whatever. Good. Even the lumps are good. Oh, even the lumps are good. They really are. Man, we haven't done that in so long. I know. This is a moment. This used to be, what, like once a week? Oh, man, yeah. All right, let me taste it. Oh, man. Oh, so much sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. 
that we're gonna work this all together. It looks right, it looks right. I think this is gonna be good. Now see, okay, we're missing egg. Normally you do egg. I'm thinking because the Beyond I agree. meat is already kind of oily they and already, sticky. Well, they already kind of thought of that problem, right? Right. So I think because we're using this as our base, I think we're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. But if you weren't, you could definitely do an egg replacer, like a flax egg or um, true egg replacer even. But I think we're going to be okay. And if yeah. it kind of falls apart, that's okay too. So it's pretty much ready to go, but as you do with, I think, real meatloaf, if I remember correctly, sometimes you add, again, egg or milk into it too to like have it bind. like bind together. Yeah. And so I think we're gonna add a little bit of soy milk into it yeah. if it needs it as he's like so, forming them. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hands in there. Get in there. I intend to. <laughs> Get in there. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit on the crumble. Okay. So let's, um, let's see what I can do here. Mm -hmm. Do it. If I can make it a little sloppier. Make it sloppy. It kind of smells really good. It does. It'll be good. It has to be. All the ingredients are good. You guys are loving, by the way. I can see the comments coming in. I just haven't responded yet, but I'm going to tonight. Our bloopers from... <laughs> they're good i like them they're, they're pretty good i've had people ask me like do you guys like plan them we really don't at no. all no, and no. actually i cut it down so much there's even more <laughs> there's stuff that would get us kicked off yeah. YouTube. <laughs> it just flows you know okay are you making two i'm gonna make them i figured this is a good sign. Oh, okay i didn't know if it was yeah no i didn't know how much there was but all right let me get closer let me get up guys oh god my butt sore. We've been doing some hammies and gluties and oh. These look fabulous. Yeah, you just give them a good slam in. Oh, I love a good of... slam in. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maturity. Overrated. What do you think too for like cooking them? Like, oh yes, my friends. Yeah, make like three or four and I'll eat all of them. Well, I'll make three. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you're all, and you'll have half of one. <laughs> and we're going to split it. All right. All right. They look good to me. Do you have to kind of really push them together? You kind of okay. do a little bit. You like have That's to right. get them fused pretty good. I needed the milk. It okay. Because I, I want them to like stay together and not like flake apart because I feel it kind of like flaking apart that's okay if it kind of does too i'm still gonna eat it <laughs> yes oh yeah oh that looks good okay so real quick again we've got the beyond meat meat patty the light life uh burger patty the italian sausage by light life onions that have been sauteed up with coconut aminos the Vio Life provolone cheese diced up, and as two pieces of Ezekiel bread toasted for breadcrumbs, and then garlic salt, you know, just kind of that stuff. And then, is that it? We ran out of toilet paper. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, soy milk just to uh, bind it, help bind it all. The sauce of all sauces, I'm telling you guys, it might not be a looker, but it's delicious. And yeah, so how long are you gonna do it? Okay, so I'm gonna start off at 320 degrees okay. for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna take a look. Okay. I'm worried about it getting heated through the middle. I think it'll do pretty well. And then, I mean, that's how long you would kind of cook it for the actual sausage and the meat patty, you know? Right, but so, meatloaf, when you bulk them like that, Yeah. I feel like when you make meatloaf, what, meatloaf's like 30, 40 minutes? Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of... Go Let me it. show these real quick before you start it. But, so Nate had the the chocolate. Yes. But you mixed yours with some coffee, coffee. just to be fair. Um, I had the strawberry one today. You didn't try it because you weren't here. And I had the peanut butter brownie one yesterday. Okay, so guys, I mentioned this on my... Um, 
Instagram, but I haven't like talked about it here. I found this company like two weeks ago on Instagram. I think they're kind of new and I just came across them and I reached out and I asked for like if I could get just a few samples to try them out for you guys. Vegan protein plastered on it and I was just like, well, I want to try it. And I love the macros on here. Uh, 25 grams of protein, 150 calories for most of these. I think even some are a little bit less, uh, which is great. Like you don't really find that, especially in vegan protein. You'll find it like the Orgain one, like the 20 grams of protein for 150 calories. But anyway, it just stood out to me. One gram of sugar, Plus, I thought of you guys too, because I know a lot of you really don't uh, prefer stevia, and I don't believe these have stevia in them, but they have the, um, oh, what's the other one called, that sweetener, the monk fruit sweetener, I believe it is. Uh, but yeah, they don't have the stevia in them, at least not these ones. But I don't know, I just thought of you guys too, but I tried them out, like I said, and they're not overly strong in flavor didn't you agree yeah it wasn't overly pungent of like ooh chocolate right but because these there. yeah these flavors you guys peanut butter brownie parfait fudge brownie sundae strawberry shortcake sundae french vanilla wafer sundae like I mean, the flavors sound amazing. And these ones are loaded with greens. And so then the more I thought about it though too, I'm like, well, for it not being overly sweet and being loaded with stuff that usually makes it not taste the best, right. <laughs> let's be honest, they're actually really pretty good. You, you know? know? For how much greens it has in it yeah. and kale and stuff like that, it was good for having kale in it. I didn't know there was kale. Right, so. right. No, you don't taste that at all. I would just say that the, like, again, strawberry, what is it? Strawberry, uh, shortcake or whatever. Yeah. I don't really get that flavor from it really coming through. Mm -hmm. It's very, very light. But again, I think some people will really like that because they don't like that sweetness you get from now, so many. What if you made it with soy milk and you dropped a few strawberries in it and blended it through? That's just smart thinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I'm but seriously, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with them some more too though because I was even thinking like to make pancakes with them and like do more than just shakes with them. Strawberry pancakes? You're welcome. I know, but I'm going to link them below, guys. Go give them some love. Follow them on Instagram. Check them out. I'll see if I can get a, a coupon code for you guys even, and I'll put that below too. Yeah. But they're a newer company, and I love supporting that. And it's, again, really, really mm -hmm. great macros, and I'm not mad at it. It's just very different than what yeah. I've had. So I like it. I want to make ice cream with them. Like, they oh, got yeah. Food, like, ice cream flavors. That's the thing is, like, I mean, I've only tried them a few times now as, like, a yeah. shake, but you can do so much more. But what if, like, you froze strawberries? Uh-huh. And then you put the strawberry stuff in yeah. it. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Nice cream dip. I'm into it. You know, nice cream. In it. I'm, I'm having a nice cream time. Ah, okay. Right, so, three Cook one. And then, oh, the sauce? Did you put the sauce on or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Air fryer. <laughs> so? I don't want it to burn the sauce. It uh, cooks the outside normally faster than it does the inside. So, I'm going to gaze it. And, and then put the it back in again. this guy. I just say put the sauce on, call it good, but whatevs. Some people do it right and some people do it wrong. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll see what the final product. So this is 16 minutes at 320. It's looking like it might be getting a little dry. So let's put on the sauce. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that what you think too? Oh, yes. Do you think we've cooked them too long? Mm -mm. Okay. No, I wanted the tops to get kind of crispy and done. Okay. Because then the sauce is going to like re let it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's going to get down in those crevies. Crevies? And how long are you going to do it for? I think we're going to do it back for 320 some more. But I think we're going to do them for about 7 to 10 minutes longer. But we're going to check them every 5 because I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Oh! Oh, those look good! <laughs> <laughs> they look good. They look good. All right, you ready for it? Coco, quit yelling at me. I'm ready. Are you mm -hmm. ready? I'm ready to do all those dishes. <laughs> Hit me with it. Oh my gosh. 
yes. Let's do this. Mm, oh, they smell so good. That sauce, you guys. I am telling you it's the sauce. Maybe it's always been it's the sauce. It's always been the sauce. <laughs> We're so stupid. Uh-oh. Is it breaking? Oh, burning. <laughs> What's burning? My hand. Oh, well, side. that's fine. Just don't mess up the loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Kid already ate, so are you all right? No. No, I'm burnt. not okay. <laughs> I'm burnt. <laughs> oh my gosh, these smell so good. Uh, all right. All right. Those are some brownie points. God, I want some brownies. Anyway, God, those look good. Damn. Sorry about your skin. All right, let me uh, make this Instagram worthy and we'll be right back. Like I said, this is the current situation, but I am so excited to try these. So we got to get our reaction here. Yeah, oh don't, my don't gosh. Burn yourself. It's like falling apart. Uh, oh. Uh, oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Look at the dogs. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I burnt myself in yeah. everything. <laughs> you animal? <laughs> uh, this is pretty good. They're like ultra flaky. Oh, and I think man. That's really good. You guys. So there you go. That's what you do with that meat. Mm -hmm. Let me just say, this is like a pile of protein too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I swear, that sauce on the top that though sauce. that still pulls it it's through. It's everything. It pulls the whole dish through. Oh my god! Oh, it is not good for you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, that is so, oh, it's flaky. We took something unhealthy and made it more unhealthy. Um, mm -mm, that is so good. So flaky, you got it? Oh my like, gosh. Like, on a realistic note, that's meatloaf. Oh my gosh. You guys. Real meatloaf. Please recreate this. Mm. Oh my God. And the onions. I know it sounds so crazy, but the onions. Mm -hmm. It is. Can you scoot over this way a little bit? Can you see the cat, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> she smells it. What you doing? Mm -hmm. It's like, what you got? Coco. All right. Can she have a little bite? No. Uh. I, actually, I think she probably can. I but don't know. I'm telling you guys, when we were filming the, uh, the taste test, if you haven't watched, go take a look. And we said, oh, man, we could make meatloaf with this. I literally did the bing. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulbs went off. I was all, I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, I can make meatloaf. And you know what's funny? The sausage really does help, too. Mm -hmm. It gives it that, like, Italian flavor. Right. And you guys know I don't love sausage, but that's, like, really good. Mmm. Yeah, I wouldn't. And Look at this cat. What's up, stalker? Hey. Hey. Quit undressing me with your eyes. <laughs> You're freaking me out. <laughs> but no, I think if you made the whole thing with sausage, it wouldn't be good then. No, no, no. You need that like kind of right. brown it's beef just almost a, with it. It's just a flavor of. Oh my God. Cat. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I hope you try this too because it seriously is really, really good. Really filling. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of filling, you don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you soon.